Hello everybody, my name is RetroSoul86 and I've been doing some streams recently um, with retro games getting achievements and I would like to show you guys how to accomplish that. This is a website known as Retro Achievements. And Retro Achievements, let me see, put myself down here actually. Uh, retro Achievements is a website that Basically, um, adding achievements to retro games since 2012. Now, there's only some so many emulators that can run with it, but it works fantastically. I mean, these are all the categories, you know, everything from Game Boy down to Virtual Boy. They should be adding GameCube soon. I know they're in testing. Uh, PlayStation 1 and 2, PlayStation Portable... Atari 2600 all the way down to Lynx and Jaguar and Jaguar CD. Sega from the SG-1000 all the way through Dreamcast. Uh, NEC for the P TurboGrafx-16 and PC Engine stuff. Uh, SNK for Neo Geo CD and Neo Pocket. 3DO, Apple II Arcade, as in the arcade cabinet games. Intellivision, Magnavox Odyssey, MSX. The Wonder Swan, and it shows like you know, all games, hardest games, most requested. They have a great, great forum. You click here to download, and it shows you emulators supporting retro achievements. It shows like BizHawk supports all these systems. Duck Station works for PlayStation, PCSX2, which is the PlayStation 2 emulator. Um, that one works fantastically. I have it myself. As you can see at the bottom of the bar, PCSX2, I also have the PlayStation 3 whenever they get around to that one. Uh, Pizza Boy Game Boy Advance, I've never heard of that one before. Pizza Boy Game Boy Color, still never heard of that one. Oh, it runs on Android devices. Okay, that makes sense why well, I've never heard of it. Uh, PPSSPP, which is the PlayStation Portable. Uh, RA Lib Ret uh, Retro Arc Live Retro, which supports all of these wonderful systems here. Uh, the Mecha, which is ColecoVision, Game Gear, uh, Master System, and that one. Um, FVCUX, uh, which is for the NES, but also works on FVCUMM. Uh, Project 64 also has support for achievements through their RAP64. Uh, Apple Win for Apple II. Uh, PC 8000 8000, the uh, SNES 9 has achievements. I don't know if the actual SNES, I run mine through uh, RetroArch, which RetroArch has all the cores for all the ones that uh, Retro Achievements has. Like for all, all the ones that I have. I mean, not all the cores work, but most of them do. Uh, Visual Boy Advance, but also works on MGBA if run through RetroArch. Which Arc is right here, all these system, wonderful systems. And when Arcadia, which is Arcadia 2001, Alcor TV Games Computers. Now, you would want to ask yourself, well, how do I get this? Well, you can download any of these emulators. I recommend highly PCSX2 for your PlayStation 2, it's because the PS2 core that is in RetroArc doesn't really work the greatest. It's still in alpha. So for stable version, I would say just use PCSX2. Uh, otherwise, I would say use RetroArch, and you can download all the cores that you need. Just look on here, like, uh, say, okay, Game Boy. Uh, we'll just pick one right now. Ah, I'm saying it. All right, um, let's support a game files. And if you do that, it'll show you exactly which file uh, they identify to work with the achievements. Now... You can run through any of these, but there's also, um, I think it's the wiki. Um, I think it's the wiki anyway. But it shows like RetroArch pages and stuff like that. Which guide, they have the guides for different ones and stuff like that on GitHub and everything else. I mean, I forget where you go, but you can also just look up like what cores and retro arc work for retro achievements and it should pop up uh now how you get this started is 
you go up here and you sign up you sign in put your name in you know any info that you want to put in you can put in a model like mine is love the past to love the future and I'm a soft core rank of 54,288 of 64,273. I'm the top 84%. Uh, it also shows like the last five games that you played. Um, but if you also click on your profile, it'll show you what games you have. Like I just got a whole bunch of these today. I had 11 starting days, so I got 15 more uh, as of my last uh, live stream. Uh, like X-Men on the arcade works. Simpsons on the arcade works. I've already got an achievement for that one. Star Wars on the arcade. I was testing out arcade games last night. Uh, through I think it's Final Burn Neo, uh, but you can look it up. And you just like say let's go with Retro Art for example. Scroll down settings, down here to achievements, and you just flip it on. Type in your name, your password. It shows change the position and offsets of notifications. Like it'll pop in the top left. Aligned padding, set whether the notifications are aligned with other types of on-screen notifications. Uh, I need to get my controller because there's no back with arrow. Uh, visibility, change with messages and on-screen elements. Like hardcore mode is for like, <coughs> gives you like fancier achievements. Um, like it'll have a border on there, I think. <coughs> Actually, I can show that. Like Kirby's Dreamland here. You see this little yellow border around it. That means I did it in hardcore mode. Ones that I didn't are don't have the yellow border around them. Um, like I've got, what was it, fifteen out of thirty-five? I think seventeen out seventeen out of thirty-five. Five out of five, thirty-five. Because I can flip do this and then redo it in hardcore and get them hardcore achievements. Uh, mostly they'll let me label like progression, win condition. Uh, some of them are missable, like they'll have a little thing that says missable on them and stuff like that. And you see recent players. All these people have recently played today, as of February 4, 2024, played Kirby's Dreamland. And I think that's fantastic because it gives people, um, it gives people who want to play retro games more of an incentive to complete games and complete challenges and stuff like that. And it brings new life into old games, which I really think is a fantastic thing. I really do. Like, let's use PlayStation, for example. Um, let's pick one that I'm familiar with. Ape Escape. I'm very familiar with Ape Escape. I love it so much. Clear three lo all three Lost Land stages. Clear all three Missouri stages. Uh, clear the Stadium Attack Race Against Jake. Uh, catch all the apes in molten lava and primordial ooze and fossil field. Um, collect your first specter coin. Collect 60 specter coins. Collect 100 golden triangles to gain an extra life. I mean, it's just little things that you normally do in the game. And you can get achievements. and You won't see it anywhere but on retro achievements. But, I mean, you can still see all these achievements. You can go to someone's profile and be like, Oh, dude, they got all these achievements. They're, they mastered this game. I mean, it's the same thing as PlayStation trophies or Xbox Live achievements, but it breathes new life into old games. Like, I'm going to show you guys, guys, one more example. Atari 2600. Asteroids. Classic Asteroids. I'm definitely putting that on I want to play. You can also put a want to play, and it'll say, like, you can click on what to play games, and this is the ones that you're telling people, hey, I want to play this someday. Reach 6,000 points in a game. Um, survive for one minute without shooting. Three minutes without shooting. Five minutes without shooting. Survive for seven minutes without shooting. Gain your first extra life. And this is Atari 2600. I mean, this gets as old school as you could freaking get. Well, without going back to Pong. But I just think it's fantastic. And... You can sign up through here and make an account, plug it into RetroArch or any of those other uh, downloadable things. I will be putting uh, a link for RetroAchievements.org and for RetroArch down in the down in the description below because I think everybody who enjoys retro games or enjoys achievement hunting, for example, should check this out. Now, I'm not advocating piracy, YouTube. I'm just saying... 
this is cool if you want to dump your old roms or you know find roms that's up to you it's not my business i will not be providing links for those but if you have roms and stuff you can go around play these earn some achievements and have some fun with some old school games which is what this old man is all about so thank you guys so much and i will see you guys next time